Hey guys, this is a tutorial for these really cute turkey nails. I saw this design on Pinterest and I'm not exactly sure who did it because there was no watermark, so credit to whoever did these on Pinterest. Anyways, Thanksgiving for Americans is this Thursday and I'm so excited because Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I absolutely love eating food and getting really fat. It's my absolute favorite, so I'm really excited and I hope you guys like this design, so let's get right into it. To create this look, you will need a base coat, a white nail polish, some fall nail polish colors. I chose red, orange, and yellow for the feathers on the turkey. You'll also need a brown polish, a brighter red polish, and a gold polish for the accent nail. You'll also need a small nail art brush, a dotting tool, and a toothpick. And then, of course, you will need some top coat. Begin by applying a base coat to your nails. And by the way, I don't know if you can tell, but my tutorials always have a shadow around my nails when I'm painting them. And I was just wondering if any of you nail artists out there are watching my videos and know how to get rid of shadows like that, please let me know in the comments how I can do that. So next on your pointer finger and all your fingers except your middle finger, paint two thin coats of white nail polish. And then with your dotting tool, just make dots of all of those fall colors. So again, I'm using orange, yellow, and red. And all of these colors are from the OPI fall collection this year, the Washington DC collection. I think that collection was such an amazing fall collection. It was awesome. But yeah, just make random dots everywhere around your nail with that dotting tool. And this nail is super easy to do, so I'm just going to speed it up. Make sure you wait for the dots to dry so they don't smear and apply your top coat. On my ring finger, I'm painting two thin coats of white nail polish. And then using my small nail art brush, I'm starting with the red and making a little feather shape just in the middle of my nail making sure that it's centered and off camera I did adjust the shape a little bit because it's quite hard to film underneath the camera because you can't really see what you're doing so that's why probably after every take when I switch colors the feathers look a little different I'm doing the same steps I'm just making the feathers a little bit bigger because I wanted them bigger but if you want them small you can have them whatever size you want but then I went in with orange and made two feathers on the sides of that red one and now I'm just making two yellow feathers underneath the orange ones and filling them in and it's actually really pretty easy to do these feathers it's just kind of like two curved lines connecting in the middle and then filling it in so it's not too hard now I'm using my nail art brush for this but you could also use a large dotting tool. I'm just making a big brown head of the turkey in the middle of those feathers and again I made the head and the body of this turkey a lot bigger off camera because I wasn't really sure how big I wanted it but I'm just doing the same steps again I'm just making it a little bit bigger off camera. So making that body I'm just taking two curved lines from the tip of my nail and meeting them up to the middle of the head and then I'm just filling in both the body and the head with brown nail polish. Polish. With a dotting tool and white nail polish, I'm making two white eyes and letting those dry before I put in the black pupils. So now I'm taking my nail art brush and making an orange beak for the turkey and then I'm also taking some bright red nail polish because I thought the dark red was a little bit too dull for this and I'm making that little gobble thing. What is that called? <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Then I'm taking a toothpick and then making my black pupils waiting for everything to dry and sealing in my design with a fast drying top coat. So there is the finished look. I really hope you guys like this. Like I said before, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I know that's weird. A lot of people like Christmas, but Thanksgiving is my favorite because I just love eating food and oh, it's just my favorite. I love it. So let me know what you think of this design in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite holiday is. And if you give this look a try, be sure to share your recreations with me on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag EABNailArt. Happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.